What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and as you guys can see, I'm making my rebirth build after my last video and I was debating between a pure sharpshooter and a pure stretch and I decided that I'm gonna make a pure sharpshooter. I'm gonna make him a shooting guard because they do have better badges than point guards. They actually do have mid-range dead eye gold instead of silver and they have defensive stopper which is gonna be a big help because as you guys know, sharpshooter's defense not really there so defensive stopper will definitely help me and I was looking between the heights of six foot six and six foot eight and I honestly think the best height is six foot seven because if I'm six foot six I'll be a little short and six foot eight it's good because I can shoot over people I'll still have Hall of Fame Limitless but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to 70 ball control because I think you have to hit like 97 or 98 overall just to get to 70 ball control on a six foot eight player so i'm gonna go with six foot seven because of that and with the weight i'm obviously gonna go all the way down just so i can move across the floor as fast as possible and that's the one good thing about sharps they can get open a lot better than stretch bigs like stretch bigs can shoot over some people but sharps can move around much faster and with the wingspan as you can see before i put it down my three's at a 90 but when i do put it all the way down i'm gonna have a 95 open three and this build it's weird because it has a 72 driving layup, which is actually decent. That's pretty good for a sharp. I have a 96 mid range. I'll have a 72 ball control. Speed with ball of a 70 is also really good for someone that's 6 foot 7 and a pure sharpshooter. And then as you guys know, the defense isn't really there. I have a 54 shot contest, so people are going to be shooting over me occasionally. But I will have defensive stoppers, so hopefully that'll stop it. And lateral quickness 77, I did not know it was that good. That's almost an 80 lateral quickness on a pure sharp, so that's insane. And the reason I made this instead of a stretch big is because I feel like stretch bigs are better because they can shoot over people. But number one, I already have a big man. I don't want to make two big men and only play with big men because that's going to get boring after a while. And number two, I get Hall of Fame Limitless on this player. And that badge is going to be a killer, especially since I'll have a 95-3 as you guys can see. And I'll be able to shoot over some smaller guards, but I'll also be fast enough to kind of create my own shot. Like not too much, but much better than stretch bigs. And right here we're getting the message would you guys like to use your born again reward this allows you to start with 1.5 million my points and primary badges maxed out so we're definitely going to do that and i'm excited to use this build because number one i'm going to start at an 89 so it's not like i'm going to be horrible so i'm going to start with hall of fame corner specialist deep range dead eye limitless range catch and shoot and then i'm not sure if the other primary badge is going to be hall of fame free throw race or gold mid range dead eye i think it is gold mid range dead eye so that's good because I'm not going to have that many badges to grind. Just free throw rates for Pro-Am, but I'm probably not going to play Pro-Am on this build anyway. And then I just have to grind gold tireless score, gold quick reflexes, and then the rest of the badges are just silver and bronze. So it's not really going to be that much of a grind to grind badges. So this is weird. We're actually starting off 60.3% to 90, I guess. That's weird, but we're going to start with a 71 layup, which is pretty good for a sharp. Dunks are horrible. Mid range is going to be at an 88, that's good. 3 is going to max out at a 95 right away. Our ball control is a 68, so we're just going to need to get to, I think, 90. I'll get the ball control 70 upgrade. For passing, that's 70, that's pretty good for a sharp. Post move, 68. Rebounding, 67. Steal, 64. Shot contest, 49, that's ugly. Vertical, 69. Lateral quickness, 72. Our speed is going to be a 69, which isn't too bad. Acceleration, 68. Strength is going to be horrible. And then stamina is going to be 99. So we're going to be an 89 overall. I still have 72,000 VC left to spare. I have to go through all this stuff right here. And then as we look at the badges, we're actually going to start with tireless scorer. So we do have to grind mid-range deadeye. But honestly, I think tireless scorer is a better badge because I'm probably not even going to be shooting that many mid-ranges anyway. But look at this. We have Hall of Fame Limitless, Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, Hall of Fame Deep Range Deadeye, and Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot. So... The only badges I really need to grind are difficult shots and pick and popper and then defensive stopper but all the other badges don't matter as much so I think I'm good and I'm ready to use this build look at this 60 overall all the way to 89 I gotta go buy some clothes though